Here's a look at the completed sanding station. Both machines are mounted. Uh, the cabinet was designed so that the tops on both machines would line up. They would be the same height so that I could sand uh, one thing without it interfering with the other. Like if I'm sanding something on here, it's not going to it's not going to hit this table here. The drawers are being used, uh, the bottom one is for bigger tools like the belt sander, uh, palm sander, and I also have a, a clothes iron inside there that I use for edge banding. The next drawer up is for sanding this for the random orbit sander and uh, some extra storage at the back. In this case I've got extra sleeves for the uh, spindle sander. Next one up is four inches deep. It has, uh, I still need to put dividers in here. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to lay this one out but uh, basically what it's going to have are sanding belts uh, for the spindle sander and for the belt sander and then the top drawer has um, it will have sandpaper in it just normal sanding sheets and I haven't uh, decided how I'm gonna uh, divide this out too one thing I tried with these drawers uh, that I've never done before is the way this the drawer slides work uh, these are just normal wooden drawer slides but uh, the trick here is that they're the space that's left is wider at the front than it is at the back so that the drawer will slide in without uh, without binding or catching and it'll slide out without uh, binding and catching. It seems to work well. There's a lot of space at the front here, but as the drawer goes back, it gets tighter. So that it lines up fine on the front. That's something I'm, I'm definitely going to do again. It's I've always had problem with wooden drawer slides. Uh, if I get them to fit properly when I build it, uh, in about two weeks they seem to have stiffened up or moved. And I think this is the way of getting around that. These drawers really work well. The dust collection uh, compartment is not quite done. I need to um, I need to build some sort of muffler. I would like to make a, a, a box on the side here that exhausts through the side like a couple of holes here and another hose from the exhaust port on the vacuum would come and attach to it. Right now having the door closed uh, cuts down on a lot of the noise but I'd like for it to be just a bit quieter. I added leveling legs to the cabinet to make it level on uh, floors that are not level, obviously. These are just blocks of plywood, three quarter inch plywood with a slot cut in and there's a quarter uh, inch bolt that goes through to a T-nut on the inside of the cabinet. You loosen the bolt and adjust the legs up and down as you need to. They've got about an inch and a half of uh, travel. There's no problem at all to get the cabinet leveled up. The spindle sander is mounted on an angle like that for a reason. It's to be able to adjust this to 45 degrees and have it miss this corner when I'm sanding bigger things. Now I don't I don't think that I'll be sanding too many bigger things on this. Mostly what you would sand on these are smaller pieces and that's what I'll be using it for. The dust board is easy to move. Just reach back here, pull it out, 
and push it into the hole here. It takes the dust from this machine and it really works well. The other one, on, on, especially on the belt sander here, you get some buildup of dust right about here. But then after you're done, turn off the machine and vacuum it up. It gets rid of uh, quite a lot of it. In closing, it was a, it was a good project to do. It's, uh, it's one step in, in, in the right direction for organizing uh, a small shop. It gets a, a couple of tools that are, are often used in a place where they're easy to access and convenient to use. It has usable storage and the, the cabinet is not overly heavy once it's emptied out. So it can be easily moved.